Now I'm going to show you how to create a was using the revolve operation. So for that, let me create a new file and then in this a new part. So let me save this particular file as was creation using revolve operation. Alright, so within the part, let me create a sketch in the XZ plane. So this is what it is. Okay. Now to create the was, I'm going to use this polyline option in order to first create the so I'm just going to create the base and then this is along the symmetry axis and the top escape two times in order to come out. Now after I have done this, let me impose some constraints. So first I'm going to select this line, make it horizontal, this line, make it horizontal, this line, make it vertical. After that, I'm going to impose this tangential constraint. I'll impose that this line be on the x-axis. This line be on the z-axis. In the z-axis, okay. After that, let me impose some dimensions. So I will impose that this be 30 millimeters. This be 20 millimeters or uh, maybe 15 millimeters okay it's already imposed and then if i want to change it i'll have to go here okay uh, and this let it be 100 millimeters okay all right so this is how the was looks like not was this is how the section looks like right now now i'm going to use this b spline curve option and I'm going to first create some control points, okay? Initially, wantedly, I won't put the starting over there. I'll impose a constraint later on. So I start from here, go inside, come out, okay? Do something like this and then end it here, escape. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll impose this coincident constraint between this point and this point and coincident constraint between this point and this point escape fit to view so now this is what we have created this red dot and blue circle these are known as control points and you can change this curve the b spline curve that you have created by moving around these control points so for example i can move this down a little inside here and then I can move this a little outside and I can move this a little inside or I think you would end up with a nice little was okay okay something like this and then once you got a curve which is okay for you by the way these green lines over here denote the radii of curvature as you can see this segment of the curve until this point it has curvature of one type it is a concave curve and here it's a convex curve and for this point the curvature is zero now once you have created a section that you are comfortable with click close and then again you can go to fit to view and in order to create the was, just click on this revolve a selected sketch option. You, once you do that, you end up with the was. Now, in order to get a certain thickness on the inside, select the top surface and go to this option of, sorry, oh, oh. okay. Now, in order to get a thickness, select this top surface and say uh, thickness. Let me create a thickness of three millimeters on the towards the inside. Okay, so I say this and say okay. 
and that's it we have created a was okay using the revolve option and in order to make an STL file for this which you can later on use for 3d printing select the was then go to file export and say let's say was using revolve STL save so it would have created the STL file just to see what is the file you have created you can go to file open so this one open so this is it this is the was this is the STL file for the was Good. I'm going to stop here.